<laughs> Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Is that John? Yeah. John, hi. Ron calling from IHG. How are you doing? Yeah. I'm well, and you? I'm great, thank you. Reason for the call is um, I understand you reached out on social media to my team with a uh, complaint. Yeah, I've uh, I've been having issues, and and I know it's you guys have uh, system wide issues, but I was in Kansas City this morning and uh, accidentally left my AirPods, well, one AirPod in the case, uh, in my hotel room, um, um, and I realized by the time I got to the airport, but I couldn't make it there and back and catch my flight. But I've been calling the hotel phone number for I don't know probably a hundred times, and it keeps going as this phone number is not valid, even though the same number that I called before and to confirm my reservations. So I sent them an email. I sent them a Facebook message, no response. I've called the customer service line for both reservations and just customer care and sat on hold for roughly three hours today or more um, and just get stuck and put on hold and, and left there <laughs> to die, basically. I mean, there's no acknowledgement that you're there. There's nothing. Mm. And, uh, even I got home and I still have a home phone line here and called from my home phone. So, cause it was a, you know, you get a Verizon message from my Verizon phone saying the number's not valid. So I can't get in touch with the hotel to confirm. I know where they're left cause my find my iPod or my air, you know, find my phone thing pulls it up as in, in the hotel still. And I know when I walked out because my Uber was there arriving quicker than originally, um, I know exactly how I left them, but, uh, I just can't get in touch with anybody to get it figured out. And, Everyone keeps giving me the same phone number, and I keep asking the question, have any of you guys tried calling it? Because it just does not work. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, um, I may be able to help you out here. Can I just confirm so I've got this accurate? Uh, which hotel was it that you stayed at? It was the Holiday Inn, uh, Kansas City, Kansas, at uh, Prairie Crossing, The Legends. Prairie Crossing. Um yeah, and so you did you just find their number on like Google or whatever? So I no, I, I used my IHG app and looked at the hotel and hit the call button and that was the phone number it gave me. Okay. Um and then that's where I got the email address from as well. Go um, you, go and you. when those weren't going through I was calling just the IHG customer service and then tried the reservation line because they said the reservation line could transfer you to the hotel. Um, and I don't know, I probably did that eight or 10 times. Um, oh gosh. And, then, um, uh, and can I just confirm, so I um, do you, re do you remember which room that you were staying in? 233. 233. I do have a different number that w they give out to the public. This is a direct line to the manager's office. Um, uh -huh. would it help if I maybe patch that in and, and I guess let you speak to them and, and see if they've been, see if they've had it handed in. That might be the quickest solution here. Yeah, that would be great. Um, cause okay. I know, I mean, I was in my room on a conference call when the housekeeping came in or knocked on my door first and I told him I'd be leaving right around 11. So okay. yeah, that would be fantastic. All right. Yeah. I'll patch in the hotel now and I'll let you speak to them, but I'll stay on the line and make sure it gets resolved. Um, bear with okay, me great. just one moment. Holiday in Kansas City. This is Alex. Hi, Alex. My name is John Warner, and I was a guest there that checked out of room 233 this morning. Um, and uh, I've been trying to reach you guys all day, but the main number for the hotel does not seem to be working. I left my AirPods. It was an AirPod Pro case, like in a black neoprene, with uh, one AirPod, the left AirPod in there, in room 233. And uh, I pinged it on my Find My iPhone, and it still shows there. But I was just hoping that it was turned in, if I could get them potentially mailed back to me. Oh, let me let me check this. Let me see in a system what they have. Usually, we keep everything here. Let me see. Uh, yeah. To uh, room two thirty three, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we found the iPad. The I mean the AirPods. The AirPod, yeah, we found it. Yeah, we found it. One of the housekeeper actually found it. Yeah, and uh, I think. Yeah, uh, let me see. Yeah, she bad, but she you, claimed you were it. Having phone issues or something. 
Oh, that's unusual. Yeah, she found it in, uh, yeah, actually one of the housekeepers claimed it, so she's taken it. She's taking the AirPod? Yeah, she's taking the AirPod, yeah. Why is that? What do you mean, why is that? According to our policy, we got to find the skipper's policy, so whatever we find, that's what we keep. <laughs> and, and actually, whoever finds it, whoever finds it, they keep him, I mean, usually <laughs> that's how it works. So how would I go about getting that sent back to me? Uh, actually, you can't. Like I say, it's been claimed. I mean, I can get you in touch with the housekeeper department and uh, see if they're willing to sell it to you. And maybe you can buy it back. If that's something you'd like to do. I'm not even sure how to react to that, to be honest with you. Well, I mean, that's a hotel policy. If you read the terms and conditions in the bottom of the website, that's what it says. It's well, only a handful of hotels. Speak with IHC corporate then. Who well, I mean, uh, right you can, oh, they're on the line. I didn't know. Yes, hi. Uh, did you say your name was Alex? Yes, sir. My name is Alex. Um, are you one of the uh, hotels that has the finders keepers policy? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, oh, okay. we're one of the hotels, yes. Yes, yeah, so that is actually correct. Um, some of our locations do have, and it, and it is completely legal in certain states, but they do have what they call a finder's keepers policy. That is true, and That's we're one of the hotels. Unbelievable, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience there. Um, if you do stay in one of our finder's keepers locations, just do be sure to check for any valuables before you leave the room, before you check out. Well, I assure you, based on this, I will not be staying in any more IHG properties. <gasps> oh, no. Why do you say that, sir? <laughs> because if, if I left something, I, I, I can't believe that I wouldn't be able to get it back. Um, no, I mean, you should have read. Were you not given a copy of the terms and conditions at check-in? Uh, I was not given a copy of the terms and conditions at check-in. Um, Alex, can you check if the gentleman signed the terms and conditions sheet when he checked in? He only checked out this morning, so you should still have your paper copy there. Let me find out. How did you how did you book the room? Did you book it online or over uh, the phone? My my IHG app on your account. Let me see. John, yeah, actually, we do have a electronic signature on this one. Yeah, yeah so. when it was told when it was told to me when I went and signed my document it was an anti-smoking policy um with a fine and I that's when the, the young lady that was checking me and told me this is what I'm signing so I Yeah so all of our hotels all of our hotels are non smoking yes that is true but then when you book the room online or through your account and uh, there is a checkbox that you checked that this one is the hotels with the finder skipper policy that is so I mean, uh, this, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what it is. I'm sorry. I apologize for the inconvenience. But like I say, if you'd like to speak with the housekeeping department, I can uh, patch you through. And uh, maybe you can work out a deal if you can buy it back or something. If that's something yeah, you'd that's, like. I'd be interested to see what they want to charge me for this, for my property. Uh, I'm I'm not aware, but I can, I can patch you through, so... If, if, if that air pot wasn't claimed by now, probably I could have sold it to you for a fair price, but I mean, somebody claimed it already, so. Yeah, I guess let leave me, me a note or let me know how to get in touch with them. The sad part is I've been calling since, you know, 1130 when I got to the airport and because well, your phone um, lines were down and not Alex, working, um, Alex, in case now, the, they still in, don't work. Yeah. I don't understand how that can even be. In case the gentleman has trouble calling back, can you transfer us through to housekeeping and maybe I'll speak to them too, see if we can resolve it? I can do it right now. Hold on, please. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you. Have a good day. Your call is very important to us. Please hold.
Cool. Housekeeping. Hi, my name is John Warner, and I was a guest there uh, that checked out today from room 233, and uh, I left an AirPod and a case, not both AirPods, in the in my room. And uh, the gentleman at the front desk told me that they were claimed by housekeeping, and I'm wondering how I can potentially get it back. See, see, I found the AirPod and the case. Okay. Yes, yeah, see. Okay. So yes, how would I go about other, getting it back from you? You have the other AirPod, yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. For the other AirPod, I give you two American dollar. Uh, no, how can I buy the other one back from you? Okay, okay. You drive a hard bargain. I give you three American dollar. It's very no, good. You. Very good currency. How can I buy mine back from you? Okay. Uh, 150. And you pay for shipping. See. 150, I can buy a new pair for that. 150. 100. 100. It's good price. No, thank you. Good price. Yes? See? No, not a good price. Okay, you you sell me other iPod for uh, for four American dollar. I'll sell you my other iPod for $150. No, no, I have case and already one uh, AirPod. You sell me other That's one okay. for four American well, you dollar. Need the other one too. Yeah, see. That's what I'm trying to buy off you. Well, I would offer you $25 for the other one in the case. Okay, and uh, Olive Garden gift card. Breadstick, you very want good. a $25 Olive Garden gift card or do you want $25? I'm not doing both. You go to Olive Garden, you give me $25 gift cards for the Olive Garden and I send to you. I, I'm not going to send you a gift card until I get the AirPod back. There's just no way. Okay, I don't yeah. The fact that, that you guys work. are allowed to keep property you American? beyond me as itself and trying to get it back, you Americans? I'm not going to lose No, no, no. You Americans dollars. are not honest people. You say you want to do all these things and everything, and you tell me to get out of your country. Uh, you've never heard me say that. You Americans are all the same. Oh, that's kind of uh, pretty rude, to be honest with you. Rude, dude. You rude. You don't sell me the AirPod. I know, but I'm sitting here on the phone with a gentleman from IHG, and I hope that, sir, you don't condone this type of behavior either. Sorry, who are you on the phone with? Yes. Uh, IHG? I, I am on yeah, the, the line, line, sir, but um, there's there's very little I can do about this, I'm afraid. They do have a, uh, a it's a genuine finder's keepers policy. So I understand, but it's, the it's, fact that she's basically calling me racist, that's, that's pretty disappointing. You were being a little bit racist there, sir. I do have to call you up on that now. How do you figure that? Well, I mean, it's just a little bit inappropriate the way you treated her. I mean... You, you, How? I was asking a question. Yeah, it just... I'm not going to... I don't want to go into it, sir, because it's a bit of a hot potato. But if you could maybe just watch it with the casual racism... Um, this lady is trying I didn't to do say a, a single thing that was racist whatsoever, sir. As a matter of fact, I denied it by saying absolutely that's not true, and I never said anything of the course. Well, maybe maybe I can help mediate here. Okay, that is one of my skill sets. Um, tell me this: uh, uh, what is the most you're willing? What is the least you're willing to sell her the other uh, the other headset for the other i i iPod? I think uh, I would sell it for seventy five dollars, sir. No, 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 that's crazy. How about 25? Would you pay 25, no, ma'am? I mean, I think... Uh, okay, she, I'm not, $25. I'm not to be quite honest with you, if she's not going to sell it back to me at a reasonable price, I'll just go buy another one. Well, I mean, I, uh, what did I'm she offer you? At, I'm shocked at this, to be quite honest with you. Absolutely just mortified. Why? Well, what is it you're shocked about exactly, sir? I mean, you really should have read the terms and conditions before you signed them. I... They should have been clearly explained to me, not this is an anti-smoking No, no, no. What, what do you mean they're clearly contract. explained to you? Nobody sits there and, like, reads them for you. You have to do a little bit of work when you sign a contract, sir. You can't hold us accountable for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That guy really bought the whole fucking shit. <laughs> I know. He really, he was really going with it the whole time. Hello? Hello there, sir. I think the line got accidentally disconnected there. No, uh, it didn't. I'm, I was honestly quite 
uh, offended, and therefore, if, if we're not going to, if I wasn't going to get a resolution, I didn't want to um, be spoken to like that anymore. I apologize, but I, I didn't feel that the conversation was going anywhere, and, I, and like I said, I'm just mortified. So, what, what the hell are you offended about, sir? Uh, the fact that you're saying, what the hell am I offended about right now? To be quite yeah, honest. I mean, what is your problem? I've been on this phone for like 20 minutes. I've been over backwards to try and help you. You're being completely unreasonable, and you're being a racist. Now, why don't you just give her the other headset for $25, and we'll we'll call it a day, hmm? No, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. <sighs> okay, well, I, I don't know what to do, sir. I've done everything I can. I'm going to mark this as resolved. Uh, I'm not, but that's fine. I understand. But if you want to do that, I'll continue to open another case. I absolutely just don't if agree you, with you this. can you can open another case, but it'll refer to me, and I will wipe my ass with it. Okay, how about that? Uh, again, I, I, I have nothing to say. Well, okay. Well, just uh, if you have nothing to say, well, Mike, this is resolved. You can go stay in whatever hotel you want, but I strongly suggest you read the terms and conditions on the next contract that you sign instead of being an idiot. Okay. <laughs> there you go.